What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're playing some more EA Sports UFC 3. Today we are diving in against Mitch Gagnon. This is going to be a very interesting fight. 32, a uh, 30 and 2 even, Peyton Benjamin defending his title. This will be the final episode for Peyton Benjamin. His final chapter is here. So if you haven't already, please send in a character for the next series down in the comments below. It might even be the final character before UFC 4, which is going to be very interesting. But Peyton Benjamin... He has been an absolute legend to play, and we're going to see out this final episode as the last gangster, hopefully as champion. We've got a few fights in the division that I kind of want, TJ Dillashaw being one of them. We've got a few other fighters in there. I'm going to have it where I feel like Peyton would have got the featherweight fight, but he obviously lost as a bantamweight. So obviously, that is there's, there's kind of talk of Peyton moving to featherweight because he dominated bantamweight, but unfortunately, he did lose as a bantamweight as the champion. And uh, obviously, these and people in the Bantamweight division are able to beat Peyton, and he needs to prove them so otherwise. He's taken out a lot of Bantamweights, and now he has another chance to beat another one here in Mitch Gagnon, a very big dude compared to Peyton. Here we go. I've gone for a new hairstyle change on Peyton, too. But yeah, I know Peyton has been a very, very good striker. Very... Oh! 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 Let's go! Oh, dude, we knocked him out there. That would have been beautiful. But yeah, um, the next fighter, uh, he will be, I want the next fighter to be a grappler, and a, uh, I'm not a grappler, I want him to be a balanced fighter, you know, I want him to mix in striking with grappling, like mixing it in with the takedowns and stuff, Gagnon's getting dominated here, man, he needs to uh, get out of this clinch, Peyton is beating him up, man, this is rough, Peyton's dominating the clinch there, Okay. Peyton is teeing off here, bro. This, I feel like Peyton's going to remain champion for the rest of this episode. I feel like these guys, he's beat the best in the division. He's fought the best. And he's going to sail off into the sunset in this uh, career, man. It's been a crazy career for the last gangster. He has destroyed most people, beating the likes of Mighty Mouse. You know, that, that's insane. Cody Garbrandt's in there as well. The trilogy with Jimmy Rivera. Crazy. Crazy career for The Last Gangster. It's been insane. I've loved it. Thank you for all the love and support on the series too, man. You guys are incredible. Peyton is teeing off here, man. We're going to stand up, though. I feel like we're doing a lot of damage on the feet. I also want to try and get in the clinch with him because I feel like we're really ripping the clinch. Nice overhand there from Gagnon, though. Let's go. How about that chin? Leg kicks there. Always an issue with Peyton. Nice head kick for Benjamin. The elbows there and the knee too. Let's go. Peyton's very good at his timing. Very good at like timing the shot, waiting for the opening, and then shooting. Just like that. Oh, dude, nice movement there from Gagnon. Let's go. Nice shots there. I want to get him in the clinch. Because we dominated that clinch. That's the plan, anyway. Nice. Nice uh, defense there for Peyton. Straight back in with the body attacks. And we know Benjamin is just... He's known for his volume and his output. The next fighter will not be. He will be a lot more, like, thought of. You know, he'll think about his decisions and the way he throws his punches a lot more than what Peyton is doing. Peyton just loves to brawl. It's going to be a completely different fighter to Peyton Benjamin. Nice takedown there for Gagnon. That's nice. Peyton, he, you can't keep him down, though, bro. There we go. Oh, there we go. The body kick just misses. Peyton is starting to pour it on. Oh, dude, that would have knocked him out. Good end to the round there. Peyton Benjamin cracks him hard and then goes back to the corner. Wow. Let's go. Nice front kick there. That was really good. Or a, a lead side kick, I guess you'd say. Real good there. Good round for Peyton Benjamin. We're going to keep moving. Gagnon there got beaten up that round. In the clinch especially, Peyton really teed off in the clinch. Round two. And where most fighters think Peyton's going to slow down, here's where he picks it up, you know. Oh, he's done. He's done. End it, Peyton. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Nah, he's not done. Gonna try and stand here. Gagnon, though, very good on the ground. This could be a trouble for Peyton. I don't know. I guess we'll see. 
Back up straight away. You can't keep a good man down. Okay, nice, nice uh, kickboxing combinations there for Payton. Nice. Just start ripping the body and the leg shots, and I'll show you why. I think we did the same in the last video. There we go. Obvious signs of bruising now. I thought we denied that. Oh, come on. We denied that. Okay. That's cool. That is cool. Right, we're going upstairs with this next one. Oh, and there it is. Benjamin with a crazy knockout. The last gangster. Still the champion. Beautiful shot there. Wow. Indeed, Joe, that was a tremendous kick to end the fight Unbelievable. With full force and extension. Crazy shot there. Yeah, dipped into the no kick. Boom. The Out cold. Contact, Out cold. He thought he was throwing a body kick, and that's why he went with the overhand, because it would have landed clean. We was not going to the body, though, bro. We was landing to the dome. Hayton Benjamin. Beautiful head kick there. One of the best knockouts of his career. Gagnon is out, bro. Out. Cold. And there is our UFC Bantamweight champion. The last gangster does it again. Big win for Peyton. Like I said, this will be the final episode of Peyton Benjamin. So please send in your characters down below. It probably will be the final career mode until UFC 4. So yeah, obviously some of you characters, uh, some of you, your fighters that you suggested are on a list. And they will be on that list for UFC 4. So you don't need to submit a fighter again. He's already on the list. Do not worry. UFC 4 will be coming, and I'll be doing the same thing that I'm doing in this series on uh, on UFC 4. I'll be I'll be making you guys' fighters, you guys' suggestions, and I'll be trying to win some belts. Let's rock and roll, though. Let's get it. I think what I'm going to do for UFC 4, the first ever career mode on UFC 4, I'm going to make my character. Um, and just, just to kind of get the basics, get the new premise of career mode, uh, the new the new systems they've got, the new the new punches, the new the new wrestling, everything like that. I'm going to try and get my head around it, and then the next character will be one of you guys. That's how I think I'm going to do it for UFC 4. Anyway, though, we got to focus on UFC 3 still. Peyton Benjamin just scored the best knockout of his career, I'd say. Crazy finish. John Dodson, a very good fight. I'll take that. That is a very, very interesting matchup, and I do feel like Peyton can definitely win that fight. Uh, John Dodson, though, a very, very good grappler, very good striking as well. He's, he's kind of a mixed bag. I feel like he could use either things and do well in a fight. But I do feel like Peyton is going to keep that pressure, keep that energy, and try and stop him. Let's rock and roll, though. John Dodson is next. Let's try and take him out, man. Let's go. Here we go, man. John Dodson gets his shot at the title in Chicago, USA. Let's rock and roll. Hopefully, another finish for Peyton Benjamin. 31-2, and two, a very, very good record for the last gangster. I think, uh, I think this is going to be a tough one. We did spar for this camp, and they said that John Dodson is a counter fighter. So we're not really going to want to fight at range. We're going to kind of want to do what we always do. You know, pressure, get in on the inside, land some elbows, some knees, and see how this goes. We've got some real interesting fighters tweeting this here, though. Rose Nama Yunez, Jessica Andrade, Pace Van Zandt, Carla Esparza, and Tisha Torres all showing their support to the last gangster. Let's rock and roll, though. Let's get in there and throw down with John Dodson. This is a tough one. This dude is no joke. A very, very good bantamweight. And uh, I'm excited to see how we can do against Peyton. Let's roll. Let's get it. Alrighty. Got to be a little bit careful here because he is a counter, uh, counter puncher. So we gotta, uh, we got to watch out for that. I'm just trying to back him up, though. Okay. Oh, that was nice. Okay. Peyton is really backing him up here, though. Nice knee. Knee to the body working well here for Peyton. Nice. He is going at him, man. Pressure in like crazy. Dodson, if he wants to brawl with us at close range, I feel like Peyton knocks him out every time. Nice leg kick. Nice. Oh, double up there. That was beautiful. Peyton in the kick there. That was nice. See him dipping. Dodson circling. Peyton landing flush there, bro. The pressure. Movement there for Dodson. That was nice. 
Okay, here we go. Back to the clinch here, Joe. We're going to see how Dodson reacts in the clinch to Peyton. With the right hook. Oh, lands an Beautiful elbow. shots there. Up, we're trying to set up the knee with them shots there. I wanted him to break as well, just to use more stamina. It's all a game plan, you know? Nope. Ah, you got it. Nice. I thought we defended that. That's nice. Let's go. Peyton says, let's go. John Dodson, though, isn't the kind of guy to talk shit. Oh, okay. Okay. Cracking him. I'm just waiting on an opening here, you know? Just kind of staying in it. Going upstairs there, waiting for the head kick. Peyton's got a busted nose, though. Okay. Vicious, vicious Gonna get at him here. There we go. Okay, tie clinch. Now he's got double underhooks. Oh wait, what? I thought we got the tie. Okay. Okay, here we go. Engages the Muay Thai clinch. Okay, he's gonna try out a nice break there for Dodson. I actually didn't want him to break that time. See him circling. Dodson is getting mauled here, though. This is a tough fight for Dodson. Tough fight for Peyton, but I feel like Peyton is definitely winning. Compared to his previous fights, good start okay. for him here tonight. That one hurt. Nice, nice movement from Dodson though. He's trying to get out of the uh, the pressure of Peyton, trying to make him move. Peyton's just too quick, bro. And he is relentless. He will hunt you down for five rounds if need be. A good round. Peyton definitely won that. I feel like the clinch work definitely done a lot of jobs there for Peyton. We're going to move again though. Just going to run at him, you know? Just going to keep that pressure, keep that energy. Here we go, round two. This is going to become one of those things. So far, man, a dog fight. What's, what's the opponent going to be able to do to him? Okay. Not even whether or not he's going to win. Oh, oh. But what's his opponent going to be able to Benjamin do Benjamin just coming back at him. Slips the punch. Big shot. Oh, oh nice shot for Dodson. This is crazy. Oh, my okay. goodness. I feel like Peyton's going to stop him, though. Big shot there, too. I feel like we're catching. Maybe even this round. He's doing well to survive the movement, though. He's easy to survive the movement. Survive the punches with his movement. He's doing very well. I apologize, guys. I'm on, like, a few hours of sleep. I do apologize. Oh, nice. Good timing there. Oh, good switch kick to the body there from uh, Dodson. Look at this. Oh, my time. Look at this. Here we go. Huge nice body kick there. And Peyton is now trying to close that gap as quick as possible. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Okay. Oh, he lands another strike to the now body. Dodson's good at range, so we're trying to really pressure and just keep it, keep him on him. There we go. Peyton lands hard there, and Dodson is in a world of trouble. Catches the leg. Probably could have twisted that round and gone for a takedown, but I don't know why he didn't, to be honest. He would have scored him some points. Dodson gets in the okay. clinch yet again. Here we go. This is Let's not good for Dodson, man. A bad decision from him, really. Back to Peyton is a beast under. in the clinch. Here we go. Oh, now he's got the tight oh, clinch, Joe. Here we go. Nice takedown there, though. That threw me off guard. Just stay on him, man. Oh, Peyton is really, really trying to just get him out of there, you know? Oh, nice. Okay. I feel like we're going to land. There it is. Beautiful. The last gangster does it again. Wow. Landed a huge kick for the knockout. Two head kick finishes in this video. That is an underrated move from Peyton Benjamin. That head kick is beautiful. Got some for a body kick. Peyton was going upstairs and landed flush. Caved him in, man. He is done. Beautiful shot there for Peyton. Boom to the chin. Out goes John Dodson. I think Peyton's got one more fight in him. I think he's got one more in him. And then uh, he's going to go and sail off into the sunset as one of the greatest of all time. Let me know where he sits on your pound for pound list. I, I personally, I think he's up there. He's definitely in the conversation without a doubt. He's beat some very good guys. And everyone he's lost to, he's come back and avenged that loss. So I'd say, I'd say yeah, he, he's one of those guys that... Uh, very, very good, you know. Let's rock and roll, though. we got Uriah Hall tweeting Peyton there. That's very cool. A big knockout over John Dodson. Sends him down to the canvas. And it is done. It is over. I think, yeah, one more fight and then Peyton is going. He is done. 
Send in your characters down below for the next career mode. The final career mode of UFC 3, I believe. I believe, maybe. We'll see how quick they go. Uh, but there we go. 32-2. and two. This will be his 35th fight. Can he win it? Let's find out, man. I hope so. I hope so. We're going to see us against... I wouldn't even mind Jimmy Rivera again, to be honest. Maybe a Dominic Cruz. Maybe a TJ. We're going to get Tom Deuce Can I think I said that right. That's going to be a good one. I feel like we can take him out. And Peyton is going to sail off into the sunset. The final fight is upon us. Let's go. Peyton's final chapter ends in Japan. Let's rock and roll. Let's get this underway. Let's get this fight done. I feel like Peyton is he's ready for retirement. You know, he's ready to sail off into the sunset as a champion, a two-division world champion, winning the belt, winning the bantamweight belt twice, winning it back after the loss to Jimmy Rivera, and then avenging that loss again in the trilogy. You know, a very, very good career Peyton has had. It's been a crazy, crazy ride. The loss to Formiga in the first round, coming back and knocking him out in the first round. Unfortunately, couldn't get the trilogy, but then the trilogy with Jimmy Rivera was awesome. This is the final one for Peyton. Send in your characters, and I'll keep saying it just in case you guys miss it. Send in your characters. Let's go. One last career for UFC 3 until UFC 4 comes. I believe, anyway. We might be able to fit two in, just depending on how quick we upload them. But I'm going to say one. You know, one more career. And then I'll bring over. The people who haven't had their career in UFC 3 will be brought over for UFC 4. Anyway, here we go. Can we get this fight won? The final fight of Peyton's career. 30 years of age. He is ready. He is ready to take this man out. And become the greatest of all time. Here we go. He's a big dude. But is he hittable? That is the question. Is he hittable? Peyton's landed clean quite a few times already. John Anik there. Same. Everyone knew already. Peyton, one of the greatest bantamweights of all time. Gotta wait for it. Tried to wait for that head kick there. Trying to pressure. Nice movement from this dude, man. Nice. Duquen Wah. That's how you say his name. Okay. Oh, that's a nice hook. Okay. Nice elbow. Oh, that was nice. Peyton just teeing off here. We go overhand there. Nice. Not bad. I feel like Peyton's going to bait him in. He's going to land something solid and knock him out. Similar to Dodson. I don't know if it'll be in the first round or the second. I feel like it's going to be early, though. Okay. Nice. Just going punch for punch at the moment. Nice. That head kick is underrated for Peyton. Very underrated. Two knockouts in this video with that head kick. Can we make it three? By the looks of it, maybe. Oh, oh! It's done. First round finish for the last gangster. And that is it. Peyton Benjamin dives on the microphone and announces his retirement from the sport. Crazy, crazy performance. The last gangster is done. He is out. He will be remembered for his wars against some of the best in the division and for his feuds with the UFC and Dana White. What a character. What a beast. Big shout out to Toasted. I can't even speak. Toasted Network for the idea and the character. He's been a beast to play with. And there we go. Peyton Benjamin is still the champion of the world. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end today's episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, smash the like button. Comment and subscribe. Send in your characters down below for the next series. Peyton Benjamin has been awesome. He ends his career. Just before we do end it, though, I just kind of want to show you guys his fights. You know, he had some very, very good fights in his career. He was an absolute legend. He beat so many guys that were, like, at the top. He beat Mighty Mouse in round two, I believe, which was probably his biggest win of his career. He's had some very good knockouts, beating the likes of Cody Garbrandt, John Dodson, Jimmy Rivera twice. You know, he's beat some real big names in the sport and the division. And uh, I feel like he, yeah, he's definitely up there. Let me know. I want to know. I'll keep asking for a top 10 or a top 5 from you guys. Let me know your top 10 fighters that have been on the channel. I feel like Peyton is definitely up the top end for myself. I don't know off the top of my head who I'd, uh, who I'd uh, put in where, but I, I feel like... Yeah, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of fighters in there that do deserve a mention. But here we go. We've had so many fights in this freaking career. Look at this. So it all started against Grant. A KO in round one. And then a round two KO. We've had a lot of KOs. Then we went to a decision against uh, good old Ben there. That was a tough one. 
And then Henry we knocked out. We knocked out DeGraff. We knocked out Pratt. Then another decision with Ben as well. Then Moreno, we finished in round three. Then Sergio Pettis, we knocked out. Tim Elliott, then Scoggins. Then our first ever loss in our career against GCF Formiga there. Then moving on, Dustin Ortiz, we took out. We took out Wilson Rice and Formiga in the rematch, making us 18-1. and one. Then John Moraga, we took out 19-1. and one. Henry Cejudo, we beat up. That was a dominant victory for Peyton Benjamin there, and we stopped him in round three. Moving on, Joseph Benavidez, we beat him for the title in round three, made him fade and beat him up pretty bad. 21 and 1 and there. Then Ray Borg we took out. Sergio Pettis again. Then we fought Tim Elliott again. John uh, John John Dodson. Demetrius Johnson right there, making us 25 and 1. That was our final fight as a flyweight. Moving up to Bantamweight, we fought Cody Garbrandt, Rafael Asuncao, and then our loss to Jimmy Rivera. Then we avenged it. Then we beat Olain. Oh, I remember that fight. That was a rough one there. And we took him out. Um, and that made us 29 and 2 there. Then the trilogy against Jimmy Rivera. Peyton Benjamin stopped him in round number two. Then in this episode, we have Mitch Gagnon, John Dodson, and Tom Ducinoir. I think I say say. I'm not too sure. But again, three finishes. And uh, Peyton Benjamin, he's on a... What's this? One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got a six-fight finishing streak there. That's crazy. That's, that's insane. And then obviously, the only thing that broke that up was the loss against Jimmy Rivera. So that's crazy. Anyway, guys, a crazy career. Thank you for all the love and support throughout this career. We're going to start another one again very, very soon. So let me know down in the comments below for your character. I want backstory. I'm going to leave like a little template in the comments that you guys can copy and paste and write and fill in your character, you know. So anyway, take it easy, guys. Have a good one. If you haven't already, hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and I will see you for more UFC 3 very, very soon. Stay awesome, guys. Have a good one. Stay safe, and I'll see you all again very soon.